Hi guys, have you ever wondered when you see people who um, always talks about God and always talks about Jesus and and those people holding up signs of John three sixteen or Jesus loves you or have you ever ever wondered why these people are so on fire for God and and why why are the why are there these group of people who always talks about God and just non-stop preaching every chance they can get and really um, wants to pray with you wants to talk about Jesus have you ever have you ever wondered why why are these people so you know too much maybe you see a little bit more than three years ago um, I had the exact question in my mind um, when you go to church or when you talk to pastors or even when you talk to those people around you sometimes or even strangers I always wondered why are these people so crazy for God why are they so on fire and why are they just always wants to talk about Jesus and I'm not gonna lie sometimes I even thought that maybe it would be great if they can just kind of tone it down a little bit but one thing that I realized today is that now I see why now I see why these people are on fire for God now I see why they want to talk to me about God and now I see why they want to talk about Jesus and how much they love Jesus and how much they want to pray with you it's when I realized that God the Father, He, the one, the, the one that created me and the whole universe, and His Son, Jesus Christ, who died for me when I was just soaked in my own pain and my own struggles. And yeah, I mean, that's a simple fact. You see, when there's somebody who literally died for you, would you not be on fire for them? Would you not thank them? Would you not live each day knowing that this person saved your life? I didn't know back then. Back then, I thought all I needed to do is just go to gym, exercise, work hard, be a good human, have good moral morality, you know, be ethical and just live, save up money for retirement, and die. I thought that was all. Until, until I really got down on my knees and I asked God, God, why are these people so on fire for you? I don't know what that is, but I want to know. I want to know what your love is. I want to know what you have done for me because I do not know. I cannot understand why these people 
are constantly non-stop praising your name constantly wants to knock on my heart to talk to me about God to talk to me about Jesus I sat down and I prayed because I had this question in my heart why 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 are these people so on fire for God what is it I just at least at least I want to understand what it is and that's all it that that's all that was that's all that took for God to turn to help me to open up my eyes to see what is what really has been done for me you see guys there is no one like Jesus who can love you so much there is no one like our God who loves us so much I mean I thought I thought working hard and and living a prosperous ethical moral and fruitful life here was all that I needed to do and I thought that was what is gonna make me happy but I realized the ultimate happiness the never-ending happiness the never-ending joy comes when you realize what Jesus had done for you because that's that's what I felt and that's what I feel today this very moment right now as I'm talking it just never gets enough <laughs> what Jesus had done for me guys it never gets it just never ever gets enough it never stops and just wanted to share that with all of you if you ever wonder why these people are just constantly non-stop bugging you about God and wants to talk to you about Jesus maybe you want to sit down and reach out to God and help ask him to help you to understand my prayer goes out to all of you and God is desperately waiting for you and he is desperately wanting to connect with you this morning <laughs> hope you all have a blessed day and I'll talk to you next time There's nothing like your love And there is nothing like your love